So with the injection of Botox, the facial anatomy becomes pretty crucial. So we briefly review this. On the forehead, we got our frontalis muscle, which is a very superficial muscle. The frontalis does not attach to the skull. So the injections need to be very superficial. If we inject too deep towards the perios, the actual toxin might migrate behind the frontalis muscle to the lower parts of the face, which wouldn't be good. Uh, in many anatomy books, the frontalis muscle is a bifurcated muscle. In reality, many times that muscle will show vertical wrinkles across the forehead. We also got the procerus muscle. The procerus muscle is a flame-shaped muscle, which is the only muscle in this area and interacts with the frontalis muscle. It's the muscle that we will treat for the bunny lines on the top of the nose. Another very important muscle is the corrugator. The corrugator is the frown muscle. So many of your clients will come in and ask you to take care of the frown lines. Now this muscle is a much deeper muscle, so we will have to inject that muscle much deeper also.